try, but I don't do too well with a pile. Hey guys, I'm Nina. And I'm Randa. Woo! Or meow. I could be a cat. I could be a cat or a dog. Let's just say we're puppies for now. You guys decide. Let us know in the let comments. Let us know in the comments if we're dogs or cats, because we don't know. It's Halloween time, so we thought it would be a great idea to show you some low-fat vegan recipes. And they're also easy. If we can make them, you can Yeah, make trust them. me, we suck at baking. They're all vegan, lower on the fat spectrum, and we really enjoyed making these, and we think you will too. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, and if you like this video, like it. Happy Halloween! Let's get into the video. Here's what you're going to need to make the carrot cake. Brown rice flour, salt, unsweetened applesauce, cane sugar, crushed pineapple, baking soda, ripe banana, cinnamon, and carrots. Pour three teaspoons of baking soda, then add half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. Mix the two ingredients together. Pour two cups of brown rice flour in a separate bowl. Add three quarters of a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Mix all your dry ingredients up, and then we're gonna make oil, but we don't eat oil, so we are gonna use a banana and water. How cool is that? Mash up your ripe banana with the water you've added to it, and it'll kind of make an oily consistency, which seems really weird, but it works out amazing. Grind up four large carrots in a blender. Here we're using a Vitamix. We love our Vitamix. Add the blended carrots to the dry mix. Add the mashed banana. Add a cup of mashed pineapple. And now add your baking soda applesauce in that we mixed up earlier. And now you're going to mix up the entire recipe, all the dry stuff with all the wet stuff. And you're going to get something that looks like this. It looks a little gross, but believe me, it tastes amazing. And we're adding in some raisins and just mixing it all together. Now we don't want our recipe to stick, so we're using parchment paper over the glass and just adding our recipe to the paper. And then we just smooth it out and try to make it look the best we can. And we're ready for action. We're going to bake this little puppy for 30 to 40 minutes and it's going to be so tasty. So the carrot cake is finished baking. We're just going to take it out of the oven, let it cool down and make some frosting. Although it doesn't really need it, but why not? For the icing, pour two cups of powdered sugar into the bowl. Add two teaspoons of vanilla extract, a splash of soy milk. And then you're going to whisk all those ingredients together until it looks like icing. It is really sweet, guys. And then you're just going to pour it on the carrot cake. This is actually only half the carrot cake we made. We put half with icing and then half without. Here's what you're going to need for the next recipe. Tangerines, celery, ripe bananas, and vegan chocolate chips. Peel your tangerines. They're going to act as your pumpkin. Cut little pieces of celery. This is going to act as your stem in the pumpkin because obviously a pumpkin needs a stem. And just cut as many stems as you want and just enter them in the little hole. And look, it looks like cute little pumpkins. To make our little ghost, you're going to peel your ripe banana and you're just going to cut them in half. Add little mini chocolate chips as the eyes and bigger chocolate chips as the mouth. And they're just really cute and really easy to do and it makes little ghosts. It's fun little festivity for a party. Here's what you're going to need for your next DIY. Frozen bananas and pumpkin puree. Add your frozen bananas to the blender and add a little pumpkin puree. Add some water and just mix it up. And because it's a frozen banana, it's going to make it really creamy. And the pumpkin just makes it really taste like a fall inspired food. And it's really good and healthy and tasty. And it's as simple as that. We're just putting a little bit of cinnamon on it for more flavor. Just mixing it up and it looks kind of like a little pumpkin. And that is all of our DIY Halloween treats. They all look so good together, so tasty and healthy. You don't have to feel guilty, and these are all really fun to make. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I know that maybe some of the recipes didn't look that pretty because we're not, you know, like the best, but I'm telling you, the carrot cake is so good. And the carrot cake does, in the icing, there was some soy milk in that, so we didn't eat the icing or whatever, but we just thought, like, obviously these recipes aren't, like, super healthy, but we grew up eating vegan treats for Halloween and for all the holidays, because back then when we weren't having acne, yeah, we, we could have that fat and stuff. There's some people watching our channel who don't have acne, who don't have health problems, so having a little bit of processed food is okay, and on occasion is honestly... Go, go ahead and treat yourself. Like, obviously, you can't like stuff yourself with these kinds of foods because they're not as healthy as like you know sweet potatoes. But they, but they are a better version of like the yeah, junk food. Low so. fat. But if you're gonna treat yourself, treat yourself. You know, at least a little bit healthier. Well, a lot healthier. There's no cholesterol and whatnot. Mm -hmm. and, and we will see you next video. Happy Halloween! <laughs> yeah, I don't know what animal that is. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs>
And I'm no, I still <laughs> We're like Lindsay Lohan in that movie. They're playing that game. What movie? <laughs> Hi, no, he's already taking his mind. 